my dear all through this video i will talk about a better way to learn english because whenever you are speaking english then you are thinking that your english is wrong or right and you are thinking you are uh, facing some uh, different different types of problem so through this video i will talk about your problem and uh, where you are getting problem okay so first if you have picked up a book since uh, you have wanted to speak english and for a while maybe you have even taken classes you probably need english to improve your career maybe you want to travel internationally or study abroad you know that english is the key to international business and traditional travel so let me ask you something that means i will ask some question that you are facing this uh, different different types of uh, uh, query in comes in your mind and you are thinking uh, this is uh, wrong or this is right now first question is do you feel nervous or when you try to speak english do you still struggle to understand what some what is saying to you despite years of history are you embarrassed about your pronunciation or worried you speak too slowly are you frustrated that despite all the time you have invested in learning english you still cannot speak it despite your goals is it difficult for you to actually use english in your job travels or studies do you sometimes feel that you shall never master spoken english i know very well that uh, this type of questions comes in your mind okay now if you answered yes to any of these questions you are not alone in fact you are fairly typical most english students feel this way most adult english learners are stressed and frustrated about their speaking ability some feel completely hopeless and feel they shall never be able to speak english powerfully not because they are bad at languages but because like you they have been taught using the wrong methods that means you can say clearly that means if anyone is going through the wrong method in the wrong way then they are unable to speak english and they are unable to understand english because they are not going on correct path and you can say on correct uh, on the right track also now i will discuss about that means the, when you are facing problems and uh, understand if you are uh, skeptical particularly if you have been trying to learn english the traditional way you have put in the arts memorizing vocabulary list that means you are studying many words and doing grammar drills and uh, reading boring textbooks how you are thinking can I speak english possibly by effortless yes i know very well that you are thinking this is uh, comes in your mind and this type of questions uh, come in your mind and blame me i feel your pain okay because uh, you are facing problem you are not able to speak english and you are thinking that i have to speak english so but you are trying to speak english very well so I have to go through the effortless that means you do not have to think in you do not have to uh, think that's uh, whatever you are speaking it's strong and right okay so how can you start in other words you can say that uh, effortless is the result not the beginning your goal is to speak english effortlessly you want the word to follow out without thinking without translating without worry or hesitation you want to speak english just as you speak your own native language i repeat whenever you want to speak english just as you speak your own native language whatever language from whatever language you belong no problem you, but you have to go to the your native language so that you can speak effortless effortless speaking is the final result and sometimes it take a lot of effort to become effortless so that you have to go through the uh, fluently that means whatever you want to speak you have to deliver directly by heart that means uh, you are thinking then you have to deliver never try to go through the translation way that means no need to translate the words then you have to deliver you have to deliver directly so that you can make your have uh, have it uh, well and after that you can speak well hope you can understand very well and uh, you have to try to speak english 
and you have to try to understand English so that you can speak uh, fluently and you can uh, deliver directly 